you've had just five days, but how are they coming together? Uh, I think well. You know, obviously, uh, everybody thinks that training camp is just the first week. Now, I always tell our guys, when I came to the league, I learned that training camp is a whole month of October until opening night. So we have, you know, up until October 29th, we continue to uh, create chemistry and, uh, and, and kind of get guys used to playing together. But for five days, uh, I think the guys have worked very, very hard. Uh, we've had some great leadership by our veterans. And there are new point guards, and Darren and Ramon are picking things up. And for me, you know, there's always the little things, you know, are we making the extra pass, are we trying to execute? Um, and, and I think as a staff, we feel uh, pretty good with where we're at right now. It's not easy for two point guards to come in and just learn a system and learn their teammates. How is that transition going? Well, I, I'd be curious to hear, you know, obviously Darren and Ramon answer that question, but, you know, uh, Darren is a guy that as he gets more and more comfortable, you can see him being more and more vocal. Uh, as he gets to learn who DeMarcus and Rudy are, and Ben and Nick, all these guys, uh, he's learning how to talk to guys, how to make his points, how to run his team, uh, as is Ramon's session. So, uh, but, I, but I think after five days, I've seen a difference from practice one until today, even practice number seven, where they're being a lot more vocal, and they're uh, doing a much better job of running their team and getting guys organized. A lot about pushing the pace. Um, how much, how much do you have to talk to Marcus about just the willingness and the, the mental aspect of running from end to end, and how important it is at his position for you guys to be able to set the pace for him to be able to? Well, the great thing was all summer long, you know, uh, they really stressed that as well with Team USA. Uh, run the floor, offensively and defensively. Uh, the Marcus has shown in the past to be a very effective offensive runner. Uh, not as effective running on defense, but uh, that's the challenge to be a consistent runner. Sprint back on defense and sprint the floor on offense. He is an elite level uh, rebounder, so he should be the guy igniting our break. You know, uh, so when he rebounds the ball, now we want to give our guys the freedom and the reward to run and, uh, and to throw that outlet pass or down the floor pass or to get it to Darren and let him push the ball. But, he can't be trailing. We can't wait to run our offense for anybody, for Marcus or anybody else uh, for that matter. So uh, it comes with conditioning, repetition, and, and uh, you know, demanding it from him every day and all of our bigs. But uh, our bigs so far have done a decent job of running the floor and looking for those early post-ups where, but he's got to realize if he, if he gets out and runs and gets ahead, there's no game plan for that. You, I mean, we had Shaq in Cleveland. When you rim run and get that ball in the paint, there's no coverage, there's no game plan, and it's easy offense. You're going to score and get fouled. And I think when he realizes that, he has to reward the big guy for doing that. That's on the guards, but if he does it, Katie, I think he can be very effective at doing that.